it is possible to analyse the iron content of foods quite easily using colorimetry as long as you can get the iron into solution. In this case we are using tea but the same process will work for any food. In preparation you need to ash, i.e. burn, a known mass of the food. We have ashed 2 grams of tea leaves for you. Now we need to extract the iron from the ash residue. We do this by boiling it with dilute nitric acid, 40 cubic centimetres in this case. Add the nitric acid to the ash and bring it to the boil and keep boiling for about 5 minutes. Once you've done that, filter the nitric acid into a clean flask to remove the insoluble residues. The iron is now in the form of iron 3 nitrate solution. Transfer your solution to a volumetric flask and make up to the mark. Once done, place a 5 cubic centimetre sample of your tea extract in a test tube or any other container ready for the test. Now we need to make up a set of standard solutions of iron nitrate to compare it with. Starting with a 0.001 molar solution, we mix varying amounts with water as in the instructions, to create a range of concentrations. Once that's done, we add 0.5 cubic centimetres of ammonium or potassium thiocyanate solution to each of the standards and to your tea sample. Thiocyanate ions form an intense red coloured complex with the iron 3 ions which makes it much easier to determine the concentration. Now we transfer 3 cubic centimetres or so of each solution to a cuvette and determine the absorbance of each. Remember to zero the colorimeter with a cuvette of water first and to use the right wavelength. For the Mistrica colorimeter we're using here, use the blue LED. If you're using a different one, you want a blue or cyan colour with a wavelength of around 490 nanometers. Plot a graph of the readings from the iron nitrate standards and draw a straight line through them. You can now use this to work out the concentration of the iron in your tea sample from its absorbance, and from that you can work back to the concentration of iron in the tea itself.